Hello everybody. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to download and operate Freed. What is Freed? Of course, it is a tool for e-discovery, but in general, it is a tool to manage your data, especially if there is a lot of it and if you need to find things in your data. So you go to freed.org and you go to download. You're going to documentation and you're looking for download. Then you click on this file. Now I have already prepared a virtual machine where I'm going to show it to you. So from here on, I assume that you did it. You were on this virtual machine right here. And what you did was to, let me scroll up, was to go to this free installation. That's a direct link and it gives you an instruction on what to do. So what I did, here's a link to Amazon Coretta and it works great. And it also sets up all the variables, Java Home, JRE Home, therefore, I'll show you that I have here installed Java. Let's see, I ask here, Java, are you there? And if you are there, what's your version? And it tells me I'm 17 and it is the version of Carete, a wonderful version being created by uh, Amazon. Okay, so you download that, you email with the request to get the password, which the truth is, is automatic. We do collect the feedback, but the password, you'll get it right away. The next step that you do is unzip the file and put it just right there. Let me find the right window. Here. I have unzipped that and it puts it into the version directory and then instead of freed complete pack and then free and then you stay, say start all dot bat. It all is very natural in, in uh, Linux also and in fact more natural, but many people have a Windows machine and I'll show you that it's really easy to go through the Windows install. So once you're there, you do start all bat. Start all bat will start all the services, which are all those black windows. It will also start the application right here. That's the application that's doing the processing. After that, I'll show you how we do the review. So you look at your project and one project is already included. Here is the sample project. You can double click that and see what's in this project, what the data is in the project. And don't forget to say, yes, I'm going to do the search. Otherwise, it will not do the review. So you say, yes, I want to do the search. Everything else doesn't really matter. You'll check them out later. So let's say I select this. My next step is stage, prepare everything for processing. And I'll show you how stage works. Okay, done. And the next step is process locally. So I'm not clicking there. The included project takes about two or three minutes and I don't want to wait. I already did it. Once you do this, you can click on review and say, I want to see the output files. That's the output files. It is metadata, a regular metadata, one line per entry in the CSV file which you can open with a free uh, LibreOffice. And all the files native uh, and other files are all here. And that's the report, which tells me that it worked for, well, maybe two minutes. And it looked, by the way, for PII, another AI, artificial intelligence things, but it processed 2,476 documents. Now we can close that. And since I did ask for review, the review will be here. So go to review. This review, it's already logged in. If you're not logged in, uh, then you can, it will probably 
work, but if if you want to log out like this, an admin admin is the very secure username and the password. So log in, uh, look that you have a case, and that's the case you're going to search. And now do the search with a single star. Okay. Okay. It shows all 2,476 documents. Each document is all yours. You can click on this document, let's say, and uh, look at the metadata of this document and even the text. If you want all of the text that's here, if you search, I think it's Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, if you search for a specific doc word, then it will show here highlighted as yellow, but I'm not interested in that right now. What I want to show is that you can uh, tag your files as something interesting and important, or to tag that particular file, which you can do like this, tag, and then you say important. And then you say yes, save that tag. After that, the tag appears here, and you can go to that particular file by clicking on that tag. So that is uh, Pretty easy interface, but it helps you. If you click on click here to help the search queries, it opens a search and what's allowed and examples of how you would look for specific authors or the date range. So that is a wonderful tool uh, that I'm presenting to you here. And I hope to see you at the next show as well. Thank you very much. Goodbye.